Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Ma. My name is Ma. To our golden oldies, thank you so much for your continued support. And to our new members, if you are visiting the channel for the first time, you're also welcome. Please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Now just a quick FYI, um, I had to record this voiceover because for some odd reason the recording had no audio. So the recipe that we're making today is semp quick cook semp to be exact and this is the first time that i'm making this type of semp and i'm a bit worried about um, a couple of things firstly the yield of the semp now the package says one cup and i'm not sure how that one cup is going to yield after being cooked and i'm also worried about the fact that does it cook in the time that it specifies on the package but i guess we'll find that out together and i've soaked the sam um not really soaked i've just rinsed it just to remove some impurities and the texture now feels a bit spongy and uh, yeah it just feels like wet popcorn so it seems like it has absorbed a lot of moisture and I'm just going to do a quick run through of the ingredients we have the samp as the main ingredient obviously and we have the butter we have the cream the mixed dried herbs and the aromat seasoning salt now the exact measurements of the ingredients will be in the description as per usual I have my stove going already and just going to use this pot I'm going to put this in here so I have about three I have, well three cups of samp in here and I have six six cups of cold water so put that in going to boil this for five minutes according to the instructions you boil it for five minutes and then after five minutes, we're just going to open the lid at an angle and lower the heat and let it simmer for 30 more minutes. So the simp is done. Um, I'm just going to finish it off. It's basically cooked. So I've turned off my heat and I'm going to add the cream. the butter And now for the seasoning. And that's all she wrote. So the samp is done. We finished it with the cream and uh, cream butter and the seasoning. And this is what it looks like. It's very buttery. It's very creamy. It's tender. And it's flavorful. and voila so just um, a couple of things that I realized when making this I was justified to be worried about the yield of the simp 
it turned out not really enough to feed a family um enough to feed one or two people and that's the three cups that i added um the package says well you know it kind of it kind of gives you an indication but the package says one cup so if you're going to be cooking for a lot of people or for a family of maybe more than two you might want to increase your measurements so i've ended up cooking i think three more cups of three or four more cups of the same just to increase um, the same because I'm cooking for about five people so take a note of that and it does cook in 30 minutes that is the truth um, it does cook very very quickly so yeah that is the nice part it tastes just as good as the original thing um, so yeah it's it's it does what it says on the package so I'm really I'm happy about how it turned out apart from the yield thing everything else is good Okay, so you can serve this with a stew or a curry. You can also have it plain. It's just as delicious because it's very creamy. It's very buttery. It's full of flavor. It's, it's just delicious. So we've tweaked the traditional way of cooking simp. We just made it a little more decadent. So this is it, guys. Um, try out the recipe. Let me know how it goes. And yeah. You leave your comments in the uh, leave your comments for me and a like a share would also help and please also remember to subscribe to the channel let's grow together and this is it until the next video stay safe